Hi, this is Joe at Head Cycling Products. Uh, just going to show you how to remove and replace the bearings on our front head sonic hub. This is the carbon version that's got the carbon central sleeve that's found on our black wheels. Um, so, but it works the same system for all our sonic front hubs. So, what you'll need is a pair of 5 Milan keys, a drift, a hammer, a bearing press, some lubricant. So that's it. Obviously, this hub is not in a wheel, but it's exactly the same if it's in a wheel. So the first thing you do is put your five Milan keys in and anti-clockwise, and the caps will come off. The axle pulls out. He says, and then you've got your bearings either side and in between the bearings is a sleeve, a compression sleeve that stops the bearings being pushed together so that sleeve you just need to push out of the way with your drift and then you can get your drift in the other side hopefully and you can just tap your bearings out the sleeve comes out and then you just tap the other bearing out once you've tapped the bearings out, and we always say that's pretty much the end of the bearing life because you have you might have damaged the race or done something like that. But in this case, we're just going to put these same old bearings back in there. You need a bearing press to do it properly. If you're trying to tap them in, you'll just uh, damage the bearings. You might find it's running rough after you've done that. So. It's a bit of an expense. We've known people do it with socket sets and vices, but this is the proper tool you need. Um, and it's just the reverse of what you've just done. The key element is just to put a little bit of lubrication on the side of the bearings. Um, we use a little oil. We make sure the oil doesn't go within the seal because it can break down the grease that's in there. So it's just a case of spray a bit of oil on your fingers and just wrap it around the bearings and that just lessens the friction of when you're putting it back in the hub. That's it. So, put one in. I'm going to get your bearing press. Remember your central tube and do the bearing. and you just press them in. What you want to make sure is when you're putting them in is that the central tube you've put in, you don't compress it to the point that you can't move it. So we just keep shaking it a little bit and until it stops making the noise. Once it stops making the noise, stop. If you do it any tighter, you've got to um, be lucky that the tube's completely in line for you to get the axle in properly. Give it a bit of a wiggle. Put it back together. Right. No torque setting. Just a nice, gentle nip, and that's it.